Hey guys, wanted to get out here real quick and shoot a uh, really short video talking about the dust shoe. Uh, this is the dust shoe I use on my Porter Cable 7518 on the big old green machine over there. Uh, I have uploaded the files for this. There was a lot of requests for uh, you know to get the files for this, so I've uploaded them to the um, Gatton CNC file section on Facebook on the Facebook page for Gatton CNC and after I did that uh, my good friend Mark Lindsay uh, took these I think and, and adapted them for a 690 uh, I was going to do it and just never got around to it so he uh, made a set of plans and then he put the uh, plans up uh, on that file section for the Gatton CNC, and I think he also put them on the shoestring uh, builders or whatever it's called. I, I think it's called shoestring builders Facebook page. Anyway, um, so today, this morning, he contacted me and he said that uh, there were some people having problems understanding how exactly it went together because even once they got the files, they weren't sure how they worked. And so I thought, well, I'll come out here this morning and shoot a video. And what I did is I cut the files that he had made, and I found a few issues with them. So what I've done is I've, I've recut everything. I just redrew it from scratch, uh, you know, and I've got the 3D model, so it makes it easier. I can make sure stuff fits. So basically, when you get these files, and these will all be back up there on the Gatton CNC uh, Facebook page, uh, you'll have one file that will cut this. You'll have a, a pocket here that's got an exhaust uh, out the back. Uh, I've got a hole here. This hole is for a two and a quarter vacuum hose. If you're going to use something smaller, you need to adjust that hole. Or if you're going to have, have a bigger, adjust that hole. Uh, I think most people probably use a, a two and a quarter uh, vacuum hose. Uh, and another thing I did is you'll notice there's two holes, one on each side. On my particular mount, I've got my screws over here, so once I put this on here, like so, I could just line it up and match drill a hole um, for a half inch rod, or you could use a bolt or whatever you want to do to hold this on. But I made it where I've got it symmetrical and there's a hole on each side, that way if you made your mount where it flips over this way, and the screws are over here and this part's over here, the same uh, dust shoe will work. It'll, it'll fit either side. So you just have to put it on here, uh, poke your rod up through here, and you know take that off and then match drill it. Uh, you know, like I said, you could run a bolt through there to hold it or however you want to do it. Uh, I would like to uh, take just a minute, if I could, and talk about when somebody's sharing files with you, you got to be really careful, uh, you know, like if they're show, uh, sharing the uh, VCAR Pro files with you, you know, you got to make sure before you just load that up and run it, you've got to make sure that they're using the same tooling that you would use. You may have to adjust it. You may have to recalculate your tool pass. Um, another thing you might have to think about is, is that person using uh, double-sided tape or some kind of hold-down feature like that where when they cut this out, uh, if they're not pocketing and they're cutting a, a profile, uh, you know, if they're using an adhesive, it's going to stay on there. But if you're clamping, it's going to fly out of there and more likely make the piece move and, and screw something up. So those kind of things you want to think about. I personally don't like to use somebody else's files. Uh, you know, if somebody's wanting to share files with me, I like to get the DXF file, import that into my VCAR Pro and just put the tool pass on there myself. That way I know there's no uh, nothing that I have to look for that I might miss. Another example is uh, if you pull a file in there, they may have an offset in there and you know it'll show up but you may not see it and then you go to run it and the next thing you know you run your bit into your clamp or something. So uh, I would always suggest that you know instead of trying to get the, the G code or the, the VCAR profile just ask them for the DXF. You get the DXF file, put your own toolpath on there. Uh, it only takes a few seconds to do it, and that way you'll have uh, you'll know for sure that it's going to work with your machine. Because everybody's machine is different. Everybody does things different, the way they hold it down and stuff like that. So, 
anyway uh, but anyway I want to show you these pieces like I said this is the the bottom plate this is the, it will be in a file called dust shoe uh, this pocket right here that I cut with the exhaust that's 3 8 deep uh, like I said this is a, a hole for a two and a quarter uh, and then this is nothing more than a than a ring that will get glued on here you know just make sure you keep it concentric like so and like I said it will go right on there like that you've got room to put your hose right there and you should be good to go so I'll get these back up on the Gatton uh, CNC Facebook page in the file section if anybody wants it uh, help yourself to them uh, but like I said just be a little leery of, of using other files and stuff that's shared because you like I said you never know what kind of machine or what kind of tool and, and you always want to uh, at least recalculate your tool pass if not wipe them off and just put your own tool pass on there is probably the best bet and watch out for offsets and starting positions and things like that so anyway that's all I wanted to say on this one um, appreciate uh, appreciate you guys watching take care